Okay, um, laid out in front of us here, we've got a Delorto carburetor in pieces and one I've just finished putting together right here. Now in this short video I'm going to explain how to put one together correctly as a fair few things with these were wrong when I took them apart, what tools you'll need and the differences between them. These two carburetors are off a V-twin bevel drive Ducati I'm building at the moment so uh, I hope you find it interesting informative or if you're putting one together yourself maybe it'll help you out because I took this apart and there were a couple of mistakes so right tools wise I've just got a flat blade screwdriver that fits the slots on the jets so um, a lot of people use screwdrivers that don't fit and chew up the soft brass jets that makes them harder to take out and sometimes impossible um, I've got actually three flat blade screwdrivers if I'm honest um, I've got a small one here I use that for like mixture screws and stuff like that because you can hold the red end in your hand and spin the screwdriver and I've got a, a general purpose flat blade I use a lot for everything which is just slightly sharp and I won't use that in the jets because that will damage them but it might come in useful for something when I took it apart there was different jet sizes in it we've got a one carb had a 150 main jet which I'll explain more about these in a, in a minute for those that aren't familiar and they both had 65 pilots which are too large for this particular model and there was a 152 main jet in the other so it had sorry a 148 and a 152 so it had different main jets in each carburetor which isn't ideal by any stretch right first of all I've got the just the main body the difference between these on the 900 Ducati models these are 40 millimeter Del Auto some of them come with 32s there's the AD and the AS now the only difference is uh, which side they mount the hardware on i.e. the tickler for starting is on the opposite side on one body and on the other body it isn't I mean that's the only difference really and the idle adjustment and mixture screws are on the opposite sides as well so that's the only difference between S and D the AS is the vertical cylinder carburetor and the AD is for the horizontal cylinder horizontale as they say in Italy <laughs> so anyway first of all I'm going to put in the fuel feed into the base here so it gets an everything gets a new gasket that needs it and uh, I'm just going to start putting it together and as I think of things I'll mention them. Also I've got a pick handy here which always come in useful in these small cramped situations so if you can see here I'm just placing a new gasket into the base here, new card gasket fiber material into the base there before this jet goes in the float valve sits in here and is opened when the floats need dip too low and it, the carburetor needs fuel inside this is a nine millimeter fixing so I've got the 9mm socket and my quarter inch drive wrench here. So I'm not going to reef on this, just till it's tight and then just a little pinch to seat the gasket. 
Anyway, he listened to Andy Goldstein's draft one day. <laughs> That's the 9 mil over, don't need that anymore, just the 8 and 12 now. Next, I'll put in the needle jet. I think this is a 265, which is correct, the needle jets were correct. And I need the flat blade screwdriver for this, and I'm just going to use a bit of GT85 on the threads as well, just to... It's about a little bit of lube, and that goes inside here before the main jet fixing goes in on top of it. Just till it lightly seats. I use the correct size screwdriver here, one that doesn't foul on the threads that are inside here. So I can just. That's a great question. Well, do you know what? I asked that question outside, then I said that if you were playing somewhere who was, who was there, they're predominantly like left side. Not tight, side. just lightly seat it, and then it's just a feel thing, really. But it's very important with these brass jets that you don't reef on anything and use the correct size screwdrivers, otherwise, they get damaged. And when something's in there, you just won't get it out. And you've got a scrap carburetor potentially. So, next. This seats, this screws in on top of the needle jet. It doesn't have any function really apart from when it's screwed in that the fixing nut that fixes the float bowl here onto the base of the carburetor, it screws onto the bottom of that, like so. Good afternoon, Andy. How are you? I hope all this comes out okay and then it's pretty clear so again lightly seat it and just till it's firmly in place but not too okay. just finger tight and a touch really so that's in Next, I'm going to pop in the the accelerator pump jet, which goes in here, and I'll explain hopefully pretty well how that that works shortly. Just make sure the thread's clean. Again, just a bit of loop, never hurts. These jets are often damaged by screwdriver use. Actually, if you're doing counter any resistance when you're screwing it in, don't force it. It's got to screw in with your finger tight. Otherwise, don't try it. That one's not going in for some reason. So I'm going to have to investigate. Clean the pick. What I'm going to do is just try this first. I'm not sure what's going on here. What are you doing this afternoon, Frank? No, it's too narrow. That's. What do you want to say about England? I'm only really? touching that very gently because yeah, that doesn't want to go in at the moment. So I'm going to do some other stuff first. And I'll come back to that. I'll have a think on the best way to clean it out. Right. As I was saying, there are some differences. The accelerator pump. I'm going to come back to that. 